Often, groups want to move to digital collection, but aren't sure what's involved or where to begin. At first glance, the challenge may seem overwhelming, with so many questions to be answered. Do I use a phone, a tablet, or a laptop to collect data? What if a device breaks in the field? How about battery life? Isn't that a limiting factor? Do I need to make a paper version of the form as well as the digital? And can I even ask the same types of question on the new media? How do I create a server to store my data? These technical challenges are exciting to some and very daunting to others. But no matter your technical experience, these sorts of questions are not generally the best place to begin your journey into the subject of digital data collection. So where do you begin? In this video, I'll take a wider view of the overall process. I will describe a typical infrastructure that works for many data collection processes using the Open Data Kit as a specific example of a popular open source system. Hopefully, by the end of this video, you will have a slightly better idea of where to start and can start to consider the more technical questions in a sensible way. So let's build a simple infrastructure. You want to collect some data, so you will need data collectors. And in a survey, this is usually one or more enumerators in one or more locations. You'll also have a central repository where the data from all the enumerators can be collected and stored. Using paper collection, this only became important after the fieldwork, when all the questionnaires were collected and organized, ready for data entry. But using digital methods, data can be transferred to this repository as soon as it's collected, as long as the enumerators can link to it. So these connections here are important. This repository will likely be an online server, so your enumerators will be able to connect if they have a data network connection, such as a SIM-enabled device with a data plan. For smaller projects, this repository could just be a laptop carried by the lead enumerator, and the connections could be something like Bluetooth, or just a cable connecting the mobile device to the computer. You will also have one or more data collection forms, typically authored on a computer. The software used will depend on the tools you choose. In our ODK example, the forms are authored in a standard spreadsheet package, making the authoring accessible to people without the need for specialist tools. The form then needs to be passed to the enumerators somehow. Now, this can be done directly, but a sensible approach is to transfer the forms to your central repository. Then the enumerators can all download the blank forms from the one location. Finally, you, the researcher, will need to access the collected data in a format suitable for processing and analysis. Again, if this repository is an online server, then your data will be easily accessible through an internet connection, even if you are in a completely different part of the world to the actual fieldwork. Let's review quickly. The forms are authored on a computer, and a major benefit of using the Open Data Kit is that the forms are authored using standard tools that most researchers have access to and the capacity to learn. You don't need high levels of programming expertise to create simple forms. Most tools, including ODK, can incorporate data validation checks directly into the form, preventing a lot of errors before they happen. An online repository will allow teams working remotely to access and share data and provide a central location for enumerators to get forms to ensure everyone is working with the same version of the collection tool. If the enumerators have a network connection during field work, such as a SIM-enabled device, then the data can be uploaded in near real time. Researchers can monitor the field work much more effectively than if the enumerators kept all the collected data until the end of the field work. As a side note, Field supervisors are often used to check the data collected by their team. This may involve checking data directly on the enumerator's devices before uploading, but it may also be helpful to check for issues after the data has been aggregated on the server. This might mean thinking about how the supervisors can access the server, perhaps on a laptop or tablet device in the field. Of course, the connection to the repository cannot be guaranteed during the fieldwork. ODK and most other current data collection applications let you continue to collect data without this network connection. Data can then be uploaded later once a suitable connection is found. This infrastructure here is only an example and different systems will have their own infrastructures with their own benefits and drawbacks. 
some tools keep all your data stored locally, which may be suitable when handling extremely sensitive data. Some companies provide aggregate servers that also let you visualize the data online without downloading it, which may be useful for showing clients the progress of your fieldwork without granting them full access to the incomplete dataset. Consider carefully what your project needs and then investigate the options available to you. Perhaps the most important message of this video is that you should plan your infrastructure well and make sure the whole system is fully tested and suitable for your project's requirements. This, of course, includes testing the form and that the form functions well on the mobile devices you choose. It also includes checking the data that you collect is the data that you actually need. It involves testing the connections to your central repository, making sure that everyone has access to it when they need it. And it also involves testing that the data you download is in a suitable format for the processing and analysis that you wish to conduct. There are a lot of resources online to help you get started with your data collection projects, and a number of links to the Open Data Kit and XLS form tutorials are in the descriptions of this video. Thanks for watching.